Okay, so I know that it's already like May, but I wanted to make an April favorites video nonetheless. And these are actually products that I've kind of been using longer than just a month. Some of these products are from when I kind of went on my little YouTube vacation. The first one is the True Blue Spa Invigorating Spa Scrub. Okay, so I really love Bath & Body Works for their body products, whether it's their shower gels or just the different brands that they have for their different body items. And one of the brands that I love that Bath & Body Works has is True Blue Spa. I feel like whenever I'm using their products, I just got back from a like spa in New York City. Like I feel really refreshed and just very clean. So my favorite product from True Blue Spa is their... Um, there's the rub scrub but they recently repackaged all their stuff so this packaging is a lot different than the ones the actual um the older true blue spa like packaging. I keep this in my shower um, and it looks just like this and it's just a solid scrub okay so why is this such a good product why would you use this so whenever you're shaving girls this comes in handy for you whether you're shaving your legs or your like underarms or wherever, whenever you're using like a razor, a lot of times it's easier to shave your legs or sh shave wherever after your skin sort of exfoliated and the pores are all opened up. So it says here on the back that um, for best results, use before shaving. Um, so I like to use this before shaving, but I also like to use it because it exfoliates my skin. Okay, I want to talk about a hair thing real quick. I have very curly hair. I got a haircut today, so they straightened it, which is why it's straightened right now, and it has been straightened in the last couple videos. That was all last week, though. I had a good week of being my natural curls um, for school, which was last week. But I finally found a way to manage them. Okay, so it's a little combination that I made. I use Moroccan oil. This is amazing. I'm sure you've heard about it on YouTube, but I have been using this for years. This is a really, really good product. Very expensive if you get the whole thing, right? So, I'm running low. I have like half of it left, and I'm not half of it left, like one fourth of it left. And I'm like, oh crap, like I'm running low. I don't want to buy another one. It's really expensive. Then, I thought to myself, Moroccan oil is really good at moisturizing your hair, right? The only difference with my hair is that my hair is really curly. So why don't I take a curling product that helps enhance your curls and pour half of it in so that it's like half curl definer, half Moroccan oil, which is what I did. But what did I mix it with? I mixed it with the Redken Fresh Curls Curl Boost Anti-Frizz Scrunching Spray Gel for curly hair. I use this by just pumping out a little bit and then getting it in my hands and running it through my curls and scrunching it. Doesn't leave them crunchy, just leaves them moisturized. But it really defines them. So I decided to mix this with this. So now I shake up my Moroccan oil and I have like this concoction that I created and it works great for my hair. Okay, this is something I really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen or tried the L'Oreal cleanser that comes, the L'Oreal 360 cleanser that comes with this little guy. I was obsessed with it for a really, really long time last year. It was really, really good for my skin. I really liked it. Then I discovered Bliss. Oh my, I feel like I mentioned Bliss in every single one of my videos. It just pops up. But anyway, I use the Bliss skincare line. You can find it at Sephora. And I really liked their cleanser. But after I finished the L'Oreal, I still had this guy. Keep this. If you got that L'Oreal cleanser and you have to change to a different cleanser because it didn't work out for you, keep this. That's my suggestion, because I use this with my Bliss Cleanser, with my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Cleanser. It's so convenient, because it literally has little, like, scrublets on it. I don't know if you can see, but it's like little teeny weeny bristles, and then up here, it's a little bit more rough. So you take it like this, squeeze some of the cleanser on it with, your, with this wet, and your face already wet, and you're deep cleansing your pores whenever. You don't have to like spend a lot of money on a Clarisonic or any type of brush that you can find at like Sephora or something for your skin. Just save this. Buy the L'Oreal cleanser and if you like the cleanser then it's a double win because you like the cleanser and you like the brush it comes with. But if you're kind of like, yeah, this cleanser is alright, 
keep this anyway. I swear to God, love it. I will keep that for a long time. So, it's springtime, almost summer, almost there, and we all want to look tan. We all want to look like you have that healthy glow, like you just got out of the sun, you didn't go into a tanning booth, or you didn't, you know, really try and get like a fake tan or anything like that, a spray tan or anything. You want that natural glow. But you want that natural glow to look really good on your natural skin type. So, there's a bronzer that I really liked that's not Lar Nars's Laguna, which is, can be very, very expensive from Sephora. It's something that you can find at Victoria's Secret for dirt cheap. This is their bronzer, and my shade is in Beach Bunny. This is the lightest one they have, and it is perfect for people with fair skin. I have fair skin. I am proud of it. I have a porcelain doll skin color, I think of it that way, and I'm proud to have my skin color. Although sometimes I wish that I was a little more tan, because I mean I'm Brazilian, you would expect me to have a lot more, you know, of a glow, but I still love the way I look. So this helps me enhance it and make me look like I'm a little sun-kissed. So this is really nice. I don't know how much it was, but it was definitely under 20 bucks. You can get this at Victoria's Secret. And it looks just like this on the front if you're looking for it. And I really like it. Oh, on my nails is OPI's DC Cherry Blossoms. Alright, another product. Benefits Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. This is an eye primer and concealer primer. What does that mean? I was a little weirded out by it. Pretty much, it's a little pump. And you pump out a teeny bit of product and you can put it as, on all over your eyes as a base. And wherever you're putting concealer on to kind of make the concealer sit concealer stay. It's a really good idea if you think about it. But there are a couple things about this product that I kind of don't really like. Um, one of the things is that it's a pump and it's very difficult to control the amount of product you get because if you push down a little too hard it's gonna come out everywhere and it's gonna be way 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 too much and you really do not need a lot. You need literally smaller than a pea size amount. Very 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 small. And that's just going to cover both of your eyes, and you're still going to have some left over on your finger. So I feel like this is more made, the packaging is more made for like a face primer, or something where you have a larger surface area. Because when you're trying to pump out a teeny weeny amount, and the hole is actually pretty large for something that's made to do what it's supposed to do, it's just very difficult to control. So that's something I don't like about it, but it is the newest primer that I've been trying, and I do like how it keeps my eyeshadow lasting all day. Okay, this is a lip balm from Sally Hansen, and it's their Vita B Lip Moisturizer. They recently, not recently, probably a couple months ago, came out with these lip balms. There's a pink one, a yellow one, and I want to say green one, and they all have different purposes. This one is just to, like, relieve dry lips. I really kind of want to get the yellow one because the yellow one's supposed to be, like, super moisturizing, but I really like this. I use this every single morning after I put on foundation or powder or something like that, tinted moisturizer for school. Sometimes you get that weird foundation all over your lips and you're like, oh my god, that's really weird. I have like powder on my lips and I look like a ghost because my whole face is covered in powder. I always make sure to use this and whenever I make sure to use it, I always have nothing on my lips. And the reason for that is because when you put this on, I have something on my lips already, but it's so moisturizing that it just sweeps away any foundation on your lips and it moisturizes them so you don't go to school with dry foundation covered lips. Something that you may not think about, but if you wear foundation to school, I am sure it's happened to you before. Okay, last product. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I love this foundation. I think I found my favorite drugstore foundation with this one right here. This fits me. Like, I was really surprised. It's a gimmick, you know, like oh, you know, not gonna, it's not going to fit everyone no matter what, like, skin tone you have. Like, I'm really, pa like, fair, pale. So I'm like, none of these foundations ever work for me. They're either too light, make me look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, or they're either too dark, which makes me look like a trying to be, like, you know, snucky or something. I don't even know. It's just not attractive on me at all. Then I find this, and my shade is 110. I want to say it's the lightest shade, and it fits perfectly, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's so great. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Oh, and that reminds me, that probably shouldn't be my last product. Hold on one minute. Okay, so the reason I knew that that wouldn't have to be the last product is because when I think of that foundation, I think about how I'm applying it and what makes it also even more amazing, and that told me, like, oh my god, you have to mention this in a video. 
The Beauty Blender Sponge, this is something that I recently purchased from a beauty store in my area. I don't know if they sell it at Sephora or not. What this is, it's, it's almost like an egg, it is an egg shaped sponge. And right now it's really big because it's actually already soaked in a little bit of water. I did that and I probably should have taken a picture of like what it looked like before. But what this is, is you soak the sponge and squeeze out all the excess water so all that's left is just a moist sponge. And you pour the foundation on your hand, you can pour it directly on here, I like pouring on my hand first. Dab it from your hand and dab it all over your face and under your eyes, that's where the point kind of comes in handy. And it really coats your face with foundation, but it makes any foundation look natural. This foundation, I'm sure, has potential to look caked on. But because of the way I apply it, which is different from any other brush or using your hands, it really makes it look a lot more natural. So this probably had something to do with the reason why I loved that foundation show mu so much. But I do really like this product. So if you're looking for a new way to apply your foundation, I suggest this because it makes any foundation look natural. So, ooh, and I dropped it. <laughs> so that's all the products that I was using in April. It is now May. April showers bring May flowers, and I've seen the flowers already burgeoning from my front yard. And I love it. I love spring, but I love summer even more, and I'm glad that is on its way as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao.